We're here with Hayden Groats, and she's here to talk about the uh, tennis uh, pro AM happening uh, here in Missoula at the Peak Fitness Center uh, in their indoor tennis arena, of course. Uh, yes. It should be really good. You're also yeah. fundraising for the Washington Children's Shelter. Yeah, this entire event is a fundraiser for Watson Children's Shelter. It's our eighth annual, mm -hmm. so it's one of our major fundraising events each year. Cool. And, uh, you know, eight years, and uh, you guys are trying something a little bit different with yes. the auction as well. Yeah, so it's a multi-part event. So Thursday night, tomorrow night, we'll have a live auction where pros um, are auctioned off for community members to play with them in a weekend tournament. Um, and then there's a silent auction piece, which is the part that's changed this year. Yeah. Um, we've gone mobile. Oh, yeah. um, so you can do it online as well, um, but you can also text on your phone um, and get real live updates when you're outbid or um, you know, when anything changes, you'll be notified. It's really cool. Of course, you can always look up more information by going onto your website, washingtonchildrenshelter.org, and it shows uh, all the information that you need to know about it, you know, 14th through the, I mean, 11th through the 14th, yeah. uh, pardon me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just go on down here, it tells you every detail of what's going on here the Thursday at the barn on Mullen. Uh, so what is the Barn on Mullen? Yeah, so the Barn on Mullen, um, it's down Mullen Road. Um, it's a beautiful venue, and um, we're going to have a stage set up. There's going to be catered food by Cafe Ferenz, um, and cash bar. It's going to be really fun. People come from the public, and the, again, this is an opportunity for people to bid for a chance to play in the weekend's events. Nice. And every bid is a donation to the shelter. So um, if you haven't checked out one of these pamphlets, uh, these uh, pamphlets kind of tell you a little bios of all the uh, tennis pros that are going to be playing. There's yep. 28. 28 pros this year. That's correct. And you'll get those. Um, those are going to be handed out at the actual live auction. So... Yeah. Yeah, great. And I've seen a couple cool items on up for auction. You were mentioning that there's a really cool condo. Yes. That's, uh, a $1,700 value thus far. Yep. And it's a uh, it's a great for fly fishing. We've got we've got lots of condos on there. We've got wine. We've got just gift certificates and gift baskets. Um, guided fly fishing trips. You name it. There's something on there. Everybody should definitely take a look at it. Um, you might walk away with a cool deal and. In the end, you're supporting an amazing cause, yep. children in Missoula. That and you're also uh, mentioning in our uh, previous interview that uh, you were saying, uh, talking about you're ex your expanding Washington Children's Yeah, Center. so we have a new program called Healthy Foundation. It's a child abuse and prevention program. Um, yeah. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so um, we do in-home, um, it's a voluntary program, so uh, individuals in the community can reach out to us voluntarily, um, and we offer in-home services to families um, that just need support during a time when they might be having, during a challenging time in their lives. Um, and they have to, they're prenatally, so prenatally up to three months old, I believe, uh, we can begin working with them, and we work with them until the child is five years old, just offering support services, maybe um, parenting classes, or you know, right. um, they don't, they can't drive, so we take them um, places and teach them just how to be part of the community, help them get a job, help yeah. them go back to school, like you name it. We'll just be there every step of the way to help and make I always it like, easier. I always like Washington Children's Shelter. They always seem like they go that extra mile we to help the to. families because the Washington Children's Shelter is an emergency, sh or emergency shelter to help kids who are in a situation that they need housing for yep. a short amount of time. Correct. And then um, they usually get right back to their parents. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, every time we would love for kids to go back to their families, and that's not always the case, but we hope that with this program and identifying any risk factors early, mm -hmm. um, that this problem will slowly get smaller. So, yeah. yeah. And it's always cool because I did a little research on the Watson. Um, you know, she was a teacher from back in the day. Yeah. And then she decided to open her own shelter. It yes. was started off small and then just really grew. For 40 like years we've been around because of Janice Watson, so mm -hmm. we're so very thankful. Yeah. Okay, is there anything else you want to talk about in terms of the event? Because you, yes. you have until Sunday yes. to bid, because that's when the uh, the auction's closed. It's, or, it's been open, so there's a bunch of people who have been, uh, you know, putting money down for this and that. And once again, I just want to remind people that you can text for kids, for the kids. Yeah, number four, the kids. Yep. I'll just leave this up there for a little bit awesome. so people know where to text to, which is 71760. Yep, and you'll just follow the instructions after that. It's super easy. Um, a few other things, if I can share. Yeah. Um, so Friday night, uh, October 12th, we've got a lot of things open and free to the public that people should take an opportunity to come out for. Uh, we've got a junior tennis clinic and an adult tennis clinic. Um, from 4 to 5 and then 5.15 to 6.15 um, where the actual pros will be teaching um, a one-hour tennis clinic 
And then immediately following the adult tennis clinic is a pro doubles exhibition, uh, which is a really cool and rare opportunity to see professional tennis athletes play in a doubles match with nice. each other. For example, Brenda Schultz McCarthy is one of our pros. Um, she has the fastest serve with Serena Williams. Um, and so everybody knows Serena and people know Brenda too. She's a very well-known name in the tennis community. So nice. yeah. So all these events are happening uh, sporadically. Yep. You can go to WashingtonChildrenShelter.org to find all the events when they're happening, where they're happening. But primarily all the tennis that's going to be played is going to be at the Peak Racket Fitness, Pe Peak Rec, Rec Club, yep. which is uh, the observatory just outside the uh, uh, Brooks 93 area, you know, it's the first right after that light that's so just out of town. So out by Blue Mountain, mm -hmm. Peak Racket Club, right next to our um, Buck House. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So uh, is there anything else you want to mention? Because uh, you also mentioned that last year you guys raised 61000 roughly uh, for this from this event. Alone. Every every year this is a fundraising event, so the more money that we're able to raise, uh, off, we're able to offer more things for the shelter. So just please encourage everybody to take a look at our website, take a look at the auction, maybe come check out the live auction tomorrow night. and. Um, see how you can support us all right well thank you hayden for yeah. joining me this morning uh, once again uh text for the kids to 71760 uh to get a mobile app that'll allow you to uh, make bids from your phone so you can look at it and make sure that you're going to get that uh one uh, trip to argentina yes awesome yep. thank you so much yeah. scott so uh, we'll re be right back right